tigers. Oh, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you had a great Halloween. Um, our family did. We had a monster mass mash at church where I was Daphne and my little girl was Scooby-Doo. And then on Halloween night, it was just like way too cold to be Daphne in that little dress. And I didn't want to walk around the whole neighborhood in those heels. So I ended up dressing up like a bunny and I had like this really warm, white, fluffy uh, bunny, bunny suit. It was way too big on me, but it was from years ago and just painted my face and um, we had a great time. So, um, and Thanksgiving is coming and then Christmas and so exciting. So I have a few more stories to tell and as soon as I can, I will edit the other videos and get them uploaded just so that, I mean, most of you guys have already seen those videos, the older ones, but I want to put them on here just so that, that you have them. But I got to edit out that music for copyright. Um, okay, so today we're going to be talking about kissing um, and we're going to talk about uh, David and Misty and Ryan Schulberg. Okay, so this is going to be fun. So I remember at one point when David and I were um, boyfriend and girlfriend, he came over to my house or my apartment and he said, Beth, I have a game tomorrow, a baseball game. Do you want to come and watch me play? And I was like, um, yeah, sure. You know, trying to, trying to play cool, trying to be cool. Like David wants me to go watch him play. Oh, this is so sweet. Uh, I was really excited. I was like, play it cool, play it cool. And so he's like, okay, all right. So then, um, he comes over the next day and he's on his bike and he's in his baseball uniform. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> so, this is so funny. So remember, I'm like teeny tiny guys. Remember I'm teeny tiny. David was way taller than me. Like most kids were, whether you're a boy or girl, you're way taller than me. Um, and so he comes up on his bike and he's like, okay, we'll hop on because you know, you have the pegs, right? Even back in the nineties, we had those pegs and I, and I got onto the pegs and, um, we start to ride over to, uh, the baseball field there at Mount Tabor. Right. And so I'm holding on to his shoulders. Right. And he's, he all of a sudden like has to stand up to get, to get going. Right. Cause he's carrying me too. Not that I weighed that much. I mean, I was a teeny tiny little thing, but he stood up and, you know, I'm like trying to reach his shoulders and I, I couldn't reach him. And I was like pulling him back like this. And he's like, Beth, Beth, you, I, we're going to wreck. Like you've got to hold on to my waist. And I'm like, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> so, <laughs> he's like, hold on to my waist. And for some reason, at 11 years old, I just was so nervous and felt like, you know, holding on to a boy's waist was a bit more intimate than, <laughs> I don't know why, but I was so, no, but like, had it been Misty, she'd have been like, okay, and wrapping herself all around him and, you know, Misty and me, very different girls. Um, and so I did, like, I held on to his waist. I was so nervous and so scared, and <laughs> but I remember holding on to his waist and we, um, rode over to the, the baseball field and I was watching him play. And, and then, um, I noticed Ryan Schiller was there and his uniform. And I'm like, Oh my goodness, all these boys in uniforms. <laughs> um, but you know, Ryan and I, you know, he, I just kind of thought he was stuck up now, Ryan, listen, don't let that hurt your feelings. Maybe you were just really quiet or maybe you just weren't that into me as the story of my life goes. And so, <laughs> anyways, so, um, one of the things that I remember about, about maybe some of you guys remember this is that when you would, uh, go to any kind of uh, school function and you would go to the concession stand and what did we always order to drink? And not all of us, but some of us did. We ordered the suicide, right? Now I remember I had never heard of that before. And I was standing there with, um, Misty and David. No, Misty wasn't there. It was, or she might've been there. But if I was going with David at the time, then then we would not have been speaking on speaking terms because typically that's kind of how it went, right? He kind of came between the two of us. And so I know Craig was there and David was there and my little brother was there, Daniel. And so we're standing there and people start ordering suicide. And I'm like, what's a suicide? And they're like, Beth, you don't know what a suicide is? And I'm like, no, I don't, I don't know what that is. And so, of course, they had to explain to me, you, it's all the sodas, uh, you know, mixed together. And I'm like, all right, I'll try it. Oh my goodness. It was just the most disgusting thing ever. <laughs> I was like, this is awful. I want to pour this out and get my Coke. But I didn't want to do that in front of David and Craig because all, you know, they were all drinking a suicide. And I'm like, 
you know, try to, <laughs> I thought it was terrible. Uh, but I, yeah, anyways, I followed the crowd and, and, but then later on, you know, when they weren't around, I'd go get my Coke. So that's one of the things that I remember. And then going back to Ryan and Misty. So at one point, um, David and I had broken up and Misty was going with Ryan at the time. And I remember this and I remember us being at the apartments and Misty telling me, she was like, guess what I did today? And I'm like, what? And she was like, I kissed Ryan. And I'm like, what? What? You kissed Ryan Schuler? <laughs> she was like, yeah. And I'm like, <gasps> tell me about it. How did it go? What? You know, and I just, I just couldn't believe she, you know, we're, what were we, 11? Yeah, 11. Because her birthday's in August too. Anyways, doesn't matter. She was talking about how she'd kissed him. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, I would be so scared. I, I Like, I wouldn't be able to do it. She was like, Beth, really? Do you really want to go into junior high without having your first kiss? And I was like, oh, uh, no, of course not. Yeah, yeah, I really don't want to kiss anybody. So we were talking about kissing, and she was like, well, if you could kiss any boy, who could it be? And I'm like, mm, I, 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 I don't know. And she was like, well, whoever it is, just don't pick David, okay? Like, don't waste it on him. <laughs> so she said, don't waste it on him. And I'm like, mm, no, no, no. So I did, I did not kiss anybody. Sorry, Misty. I know I was a disappointment to you, but I mean, I didn't kiss anybody until um, later on. I'm not going to tell you how old I was, but <laughs> it was too young and it was awful. Oh, it was such a waste. That relationship was very toxic. Anyways, so that, that's my story for today, guys. Kissing and baseball. Oh, don't they go hand in hand? All right. Um, you tigers have a great week and I'll catch you in the next one.